This is James Eblen. I'm a retired master sergeant of the United States Air Force. I was running center scheduling at the Air Force Flight Test Center in June of 1967 when they wanted to add the XB-70 on as a test mission. Now the XB-70 took a, normally 100% of the base support. At the same time, concurrently, we were running the X-15 tests. And the X-15 was the, as the test bed for the <coughs> um, spacecraft. Now, the day before that add-on, I checked around and tried to get the support. I did not have a qualified Chase One pilot available on duty. There were six or seven assigned to the base, but for one reason or another, none were available for tomorrow's flight. And so I canceled it for safety of flight. Two colonels came on in the middle of the afternoon and they came back up to my center scheduling office and said, Sergeant, we want you to put those, that X-15 back, uh, XB-70 on tomorrow. I said, no, I've canceled it for safety of flight. Well, why? You can borrow a pilot from NASA. He's not checked out to fly that mission. He flies Chase 1 for the X-15. And he is not qualified to fly Chase for the XB-70. They turned around and left my office, and I get word the next morning the XB-70 took off on the mission. And about mid-morning, we get the word of the crash. The fellow that I had said was not qualified to fly that mission flew his F-104 into the tail of the XB-70, having not been briefed properly for that mission. This did not come out in the Board of Inquiry. They did not subpoena me. They subpoenaed my records, but they hushed it up to protect the two colonels that did that. Okay. okay.